Hi, it's Eldar. Welcome to another web design tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use blocks templates, blocks page templates, and custom blocks. So let's start these blocks templates files. The regular blocks templates which you can download from blockstemplates.com. So if you go to blocks templates website, you can see that I have this preview for each template. You can go inside and see the multi-page single purge version basically for each of the templates I have here. So let's say that I want to check out this uh, interior template, one of the newest ones. And if you like it, you can download it. And when you do, well, I have all templates here. You get two types of files. First of all, you get this .block, regular blocks project files which are the traditional simple templates, which include all pages, all images, all content, all classes, everything inside one file. And then you have the BEX files folder. And this folder has the each individual page separately. I recommend to use that block project file 99% of the time. If you want to just build a website from scratch, just open this template, you can edit the text, let's say some new heading here. You can change the images, you can just double click on the images you have here. I recommend to basically use the same sizes as I provide, the same aspect ratios, I mean, because like, as you can see here, these three square images look nice. And if you replace one of them, this, the wide image, the design won't be as good. Little tip there, to check the size of the image, you just click on it and here in the sidebar it says what size the file is. The actual image here is just 300 pixels, 302 pixels, but the image file which I included with the template is 1600 pixels. And well, it's not, it's a different topic on optimization of images. Check out my other videos preparing images for uh, web I think it's called. I will link it in the description below. These are the regular blocks templates. What if I want to import the page from other project here? So let's say that I have been working on this project for a while now. Let's say that this is my ongoing project and I have been looking for some about page or let's say contact page. And let's say that I'm going to hotel template and I have the contact page here. Let's say that I like this contact page and I want to include this page to the project I've been working on. So this is when we can use the BEX files I have uh, added to all templates. So uh, we can, for now, let's close that and I will open the hotel template. You can see that I have this page. I can add this page to blocks page template library, I think it's called. So if we select this page here and go to page, you can see that we get this option add to template library. And what it will do, it will actually do the same thing this BEX file does. So if I just open the hotel template, BEX files and contact, and drag it to the blocks icon, it will install this page template in blocks page template library. So now, if I go back to the interior, let's say that this is the project I've been working on, but I don't like this contact page, I want to change it to the one I have on hotel template. How can I do that? Well, I will just create new page, let's name it, new contact and you can see I already have this hotel contact page available to select so when I do that and create so now as you can see I get the contact page inside the interior template so contact page is from hotel template and the, all of the other elements all of the other pages are from interior template so to summarize let me summarize 
use that block file 99% of the time. When you start from scratch, use that block file. It will have all pages, all content, everything optimized for all breakpoints, look great, use that. If you want to add page from other template or from other project of yours to your project, which you're already working on, you can do that using the either BEX files I provide in my templates or by opening the page you like in other project, going to page and adding this page to template library. So this is for blocks templates and page templates. Let me show you the custom blocks. And to do that, I will actually open the new project. I will create the new project. So let's say I'm working on the page and I have this navigation here I have some content so let's add some content and I'm working on the header so let's build the header from scratch let's say that I want it to be bigger I want it to have the image background like this I want it to have the page title so page title and page description I will use well let's use the Heading three for page description. Maybe make it a little bit smaller like that. So obviously I will optimize this for all four brick points. Okay, I will make the background darker. I will add class to this title because I want to make it bigger. So let's add the page title class. You can name it something you will remember and let's make it big let's make it let's make it bold we can add some shadow if we want something like that okay looks nice and of course what I will do always I will optimize this for all brick points so let's say that I want it to be this wide on the medium brick point on small it looks nice on small but maybe too big so let's change the size a little bit so like that of course we can do the same for the description so let's quickly add class to describe so when I like this design I have optimized it for all breakpoints and if I go to preview mode, I can check how it looks on all brick points. It looks nice. The only one thing I would like to change is actually make it responsive of the padding. So right now it's 150 for all brick points. And if you do that on mobile, as you can see, it's too huge. It's not very good. So what I will do, I will make it 50, which is too small for desktop. And I will add the custom padding, custom padding. And inside here, I will add the padding for each brick point. So for the biggest one, I will add 100. For the medium brick point, I will add mm, 70. For the small brick point, I will add just 30. And for the smallest one, I'm not going to add anything. So now I have fully responsive. I have beautiful header which I can use on many pages and many projects. And how we do that, we can just select this block. We can do that just by selecting the block on the working canvas and right clicking on this, you can see that we get this option, add block to library or export custom block. If we click export custom block, it will be exported to the BEX file, which we can send to our friends or send to our other computer, whatever, you can store it somewhere but I would just usually add this block to library. And when we do, it will ask us to give it a name. So let's say cool header keywords. Once again, very important because when we search, these keywords will allow us to, well, find this cool header. So let's say header cool, let's say it's cool. Author, it's me. And category, we can change the category. So this is header. So I will select header. And of course, we will include all of the classes I have used to optimize the design of this custom block. 
So now after I save it, and let's say we can go to other page, about page, and here I want to use the same design for header. And of course, inside the same project, I can just select this block and duplicate it to other page and it will work. But now we can also go to this page, click on this plus uh, icon, which we have to call up the block bar. And here, if we go to headers, you can see that we have this cool header. And as you can see, I already tested while preparing for this video, I have two headers there. But this cool header, if we click on this, you can see that we get all of the same design, all of the same optimizations on other page. So on the same projects, it's cool, it works, but what about adding this to other projects? Well, of course it works. We can now go to other project, let's say interior template. Even if I don't save this project, it doesn't matter because after I add the custom block to the library, it is available for all projects. So let's say that on the interior template, I don't like the header I have. I want to have another one here. Why not? So I will click here and as you can see, I get this cool header. And yeah, this is just one of the ways you can use custom blocks. Another way you can use it, let's say that we like this footer. We can just select it and add block to library. Now, cool header, cool, cool footer, sorry, <laughs> cool footer, cool footer. And we will add it to footers. We will add all of the classes we used. And now if we go to, let's say the interior once again, and let's say that we don't like this footer too similar to simple for us. Let's say we don't like minimalism. I do, maybe you don't. So let's add the footer. And once again, we can use the search to find footer. As you can see, we get all of the footers, including the cool footer I just saved. We can type cool. So now we get these two cool blocks we just saved in other projects. So this is how you use blocks templates, page templates and custom blocks to save a lot of time and effort because once you build a library of cool looking templates and blocks, you can reuse them for your other projects and it will save you lots of time. And of course, if you have blocks templates, you can install all of the pages, all of the custom blocks to your block and page libraries and have all of these options and designs available to you for all of your projects. So that's it for this video. I hope this information will help you transform your workflow of building websites in blogs. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer each and every one. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Thank you.